Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. Welcome, welcome. Let's see who we get. I have added a bunch of new mods just as a test to see. My god, take it forgotten again. Regular cane to mother, that sounds good. Um, yeah, I've added a bunch of uh, a bunch of new mods just to see how the game handles them. It might end up being that I have to remove them uh, if the lag is a little too much, but we're trying them out. So just to go over what I've added, I've added distinct locust sprites, better lucky pennies, unique mega Isaacs, the anti-birth item pack, spiders for keeper, which just replaces the fact that he gets flies with him getting spiders, more soul hearts and black heart types, more golden pickups, Rainbow poops give a soul heart. I've re-added the patched hearts. Um, I've added aggressive donations, which is essentially allowing donation machines to be uh, used aggressively against monsters. Um, and then a few of the other team compliance stuff like safety bombs, pacifist, keepers rope, ancient revelation, blank bomb, Bethany's heart, the pill crusher, the illusion hearts, and the book of illusion, the man and the holy mantle rework the visual rework so i'm just gonna see how they go if i notice my fps is considerably lower i will probably remove them oh uh, hello that was strange uh but if i don't notice any noticeable difference t is up for every coin that you have eh, i'll take it it's not very good right now but it could end up being quite a quite a nice little thing to grab all I'm hoping for right now is lots and lots and lots of golden chests. I feel like the first floor, I always get golden chests unless I'm playing Kane. Then I get none. <laughs> I still don't really know why. Ooh, I, I didn't really know how this guy would fire, so I was not prepared for that. I don't know if because he's a champion, he deals full heart. I can't remember if the eternal champions... There you go. This is what I mean. Never get these rooms when I'm playing Kane, but this time I got lucky and I walked right into that bomb, so we're already kicking it off with some... Very, very low HP right now. And there you go. The tiers are going up. This is one of my favorite things in the entire game. We got... Let's have a little look, see what we got here. Inventory. So, funnily enough, we got Sleight of Hand, which is actually what he starts with in the Four Souls card game. We got the Bag Lunch, which is fine. Flat Penny is insane. Um, and we got the Dwarf Cell. So, for these two Sleight of Hand, upon spawning, every coin has a 20% chance to be upgraded to higher value. Um, which is pretty awesome. And then Dwarf Cell, while held, taking damage with a 50% chance to spawn a mini Isaac. So I'm hoping we don't die pretty quickly here, considering... Oh god, this guy's eternal too. I'm hoping we don't die pretty quick here, considering I did just take quite a lot of damage. This guy is going off. Do you want to calm down, sir? Almost sucked myself in a pretty precarious position there. He's not actually that hard for an eternal version. Like, he fires a lot of bombs, but you can hit them back quite easily. And he gave us Mr. Boom. Okay, this is some good stuff. Also, this um, this little tears coin thing got reworked. Before, it would give you tears up at specific intervals. Now, it gives you a literal tears up per coin, kind of like money equals power. Um, and also, it used to mean that when coins were on the floor, they would fear enemies. Uh, enemies would be feared by coins, which is was kind of an interesting thing, but I, I kind of also remove, uh, remove. I kind of also understand why it was removed. But the question of the day to day... Hmm. Hmm. But the question of the day to day... What is your, um, what, I think I've asked this question before, but I'm going to try and reword it to make sure it's not too similar to the one I asked prior. What is your most proudest creation that you've made recently? Something that you've made yourself, whether it be in school, like a project or a mod or a drawing or, I don't know, something. What is something that you've created that you're really proud of? I think I've asked a very similar question recently. But I don't think it was that exact question, so... Like, if it if it ends up being that I ever ask a duplicate question and you realise it, I will give you this bit of advice. Just reword it, like, reuse the question. So instead of it being the question I asked, it's just, you get to ask me a question instead. Okay, I'd very much like to get an additional penny here. That would be... That would be a joyous occasion. Um, let's try and destroy some fires, because getting Steam Sale really early on would be awesome. Yeah, if I, if I ever ask a duplicate question, it's normally because I'm an idiot and forget what I've asked before. Uh, there it is, there it is. I'm so glad that I can't abuse my donation machine at the minute. I did, of course, lose some tears there for that, but that's fine. Also, by the way, I've not, I'm not noticing any additional lag right now with the mods that I just enabled. So maybe I'll have to try out a few other smaller mods and see how they go. Goddamn Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom is the greatest. And we get Whirling Leech as well. I didn't mean to open the store, but we did. It's fine. We got a lot of keys. And we're supposed to be going to Mother anyway, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
Um, and there you go, we got um, a prop from Sleight of Hand there. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm I'm super. Toy box is one of my favorite trink, uh, favorite items. Just smelts four round trinkets because it's one of those things where it's like its power is so variable. Like it can be amazing, it can be only okay, it can be completely fucking useless, or it can be. Um, do I want to bomb this? Yeah, I do. Uh, or it can be ridiculously good. I I'd say that we got on the side of ridiculously good for one thing and one thing only. Sleight of hand is pretty good, but flat penny, getting that smelted is incredible. And do remember, we had to keep the trinket we started with too. This was a really dumb hit by me there. I mean, it's kind of fine. Um, I don't really mind that much, but that was a bit stupid. Mysterious Liquid is an item I haven't had in a while and I like. Don't steal my charges, you little dicks. That's not very nice. A little bit, eh, a little bit worried about my HP. A little bit worried about my HP. So I think now, unless my shops are really good, I'm going to try and stack uh, stack money. Of course, I do have sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, sorry. I do have steam sale. Just to both begin with an S. My brain was like, herder. Um, but we do have steam sales. So we are going to be purchasing a little more than usual, but I'm not going to overdo it. I thought Wailing Leech used to give you a, a HP up. Am I, not th am I thinking of a different item? I think I am. It wouldn't make sense for it to give you a HP up. We will check our shop because we do have over seven cent. Um, and honestly, none of those are for me. If I, if, the, if there isn't something I unequivocally 100% want to buy, I'm just not going to bother. Because I think it's kind of a waste. I should also really be trying to utilize uh, Mr. Boom on charge here for finding secret rooms and such. I'm not really utilizing it to the best of my abilities right now. Hey, all of these leeches are turning. That wasn't secret room, surprisingly. I really thought it would be. Um... Probably shouldn't have used Mr. Boom there. But the good thing is, when we use Mr. Boom, it doesn't actually matter because then we can just use a normal bomb. Also, I Mysterious Liquid is doing an incredible job against this guy. Oh, God. I always find this boss super, super difficult in this phase. It's like, I find that I rarely... I'll just, just forget what I was going to say. I was, about to say. I was about to say, I find that I rarely actually get hit by him. But I'm always really scared. Um, I'm going to quickly try and find my secret room here. Still, still waiting for the mod that removes all of those water spouts. Hopefully one day. Um, right. Secret room. Secret room. I'm actually a little unsure as to where it could be here. Um, maybe here? No. Yeah, but I'm a little unsure as to where it could be, I'll be honest. This is a, a pretty weird one for secret rooms. I'll just, uh, I'll duck out. Hope for the best. We'll carry on. We'll see what's what. We will see what's what. Right, there you go. Push forward. I do like having Wailing Leech, though, I will have to say. Please don't get hit now. I really would like to get my Devil Deal slash Angel Deal. Oh! Boy. Oh my god, someone needs to make a mod that reworks a quality too. That mod is, that, that item is trash. It's like, almost impossible to get any use out of. And even when you do get use out of it, you get use out of it for like half a floor. Oh, we're definitely getting hit here. Yep. That was pretty much a guarantee. So, we're not getting devil deals this, uh, devil deals or angel deals this run at all, unfortunately. Um, because I just keep getting hit. But then again, I'm getting some really hard rooms here, so I feel like it's not really my fault. I feel like you can't really blame me. These little shits are quite annoying. Are these, are these little corn dips modded or not? Because they feel really vanilla, but I feel like they might be modded. But they feel really vanilla. I don't know. Who, either way, if they're a mod, whoever made them, well done. Uh, I don't think plus 10 bombs is really going to be it for us. Super Soaker. Hmm. I don't, this, this might be kind of good. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. This might be kind of good. Broken Murdom is a must grab. Yeah, I, I like... Obviously, I think maybe that Mr. Boom could be better. But I feel like this is kind of like Isaac's Tears. But yeah, it seems a little better. Especially with like Mysterious Liquid and the like. Dude, I need to stop getting hit. What is going on with me right now? I just keep getting hit. <laughs> my, my 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 life, my poor life. I have so little life force to give. 
Let's not die. I've been dying a lot recently. I've been dying a lot recently. So let's try and avoid it if we can. Would be good. Damn it. Didn't quite get it. Dude. Dude. Does the shop have a heart on sale? Because I fucking need it. <laughs> oh my lord. Right, also, was Mr. Boom charged? It wasn't. Okay, it doesn't matter then, really. Actually, no, to be fair, there's a battery out here. I've got a, a, a meager plan in place. A meager plan. I'm going to do this. Do you know what? I will play this. Although, there's a soul heart. Okay, let me just go and check if there's an actual heart first. But I wasn't expecting that to be my Wheel of Fortune, to be honest. There isn't a heart, so that's fine. So let's spend the rest of our money. I realize I'm spending, essentially, tiers upgrades here to do this. But honestly, we could get some good stuff. Ace of Hearts is a good pickup. Machines um, may spawn slots when uh, broken. Okay, let's just hold that for now. Because I am about to break this machine. Okay, now we break that. We spawned a beggar. We got an Empress card. Okay. That's fine by me. Um, Wait, where's my Super Soaker? Honey? Where is my super suit? Okay, we got a soul heart of that. My life is feeling a little in the balance here, but I'm doing okay. Get some of that. Oh, the keys are coming for days. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. I remember, so they must have done a, a, like a patch recently that reworked some of the Ipecac items because both that coin item and the super soaker from Ipecac used to be not great. The the coin tiers one was good if you had a lot of money, but otherwise wasn't all that useful. And the Super Soaker was just trash. If I had one tier at really, really high speeds, but it was one tier, it was virtually valueless. So it's nice to see uh nice to see it actually be pretty intriguing now. Yeah, because look at that damage and then of course it, it actually takes on our tier effects as well. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Also, we got golden flakes here. Unfortunately, the trinket we're holding right now is not going to be doing anything for us when it's gold, but I will do it. I, I mean, to be fair... Oh, wait. Hmm. Yes. I don't know what golden M would even do, but you know me. I like some strange. Um, We need to do our mirror room, right? We need to do our mirror room. Right, let's let's go and get all the consumables that we've missed as well. Because we've, we've actually got quite a lot of consumables around that we could use the fire to get uh, to gain. Okay. Right, so we'll grab this. That gives us the bombs we need. Good, good, good. Yeah, having M... I do like the Super Soaker, but I, I more heavily like things being random. I, I am going to quickly check and see if M does have any golden effects. It doesn't seem to. Interactions. Trivia. Yeah, I'm going to say it doesn't seem to have any. But the reason I take this is because getting an R key or like uh, um, death certificate out of this is plausible. Unfortunately, you can also get other one-use actives that just ends it, but... You can get some good stuff. You can definitely get some good stuff. Uh, right. We'll pop through here. Okay, this time let's not get too close to these goobers. Honestly, Broken Murdom, you absolute beast. Titan of industry. The fact that we can charge a Super Soaker outside of combat as well is pretty awesome. One moment. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right. I can, like, sit in a corner here. Kind of annoying that it respawns in with a full mouth, but I'll accept it. More bombs, good. This is a really cool room. It's a very tricky room, but I like it. It's well designed. Okay, I will bomb those. Excuse me. Right. I'm going to do Ace of Hearts in here, and that's kind of what I was hoping for. Getting to full Red Hearts and getting a Soul Heart of it too. That's kind of precisely what I wanted. Uh, we'll grab that too. 
One thing I'm a little curious about here. Oh, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I was a little curious why there was a heart over the shop icon on the map, but it's just because it's, like, overlapping. What was our boss again? It was Min Min, which... Nah. I am tempted to, but this run is pretty good. Also, by the way, M doesn't seem to have changed my active at all, which is intriguing. That is not how I thought this would work. So, apparently, either it being gold breaks it, or the, the Super Soaker doesn't technically count as an active. Now, I think my best way of testing this theory is to grab this, charge it up, and just use it. And that did reroll. I think we should stick with this and just try and get some rerolls. I do very much like the Super Soaker, but we don't need it. We do not need it. So I think it's not a great idea. So let's, um, we've got our first key piece. We'll make our way down. It's a little sad to have to leave this. Oh, I think we broke. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, one second. Um, exit game. Continue. We broke EID. We, we might be able to fix it by just doing this. Yeah, there you go. That fixed it. Good. Yeah, you. if you ever break EID, you just want to do that. Normally, it breaks by, like, picking up an item that's not compatible for some reason or something along those lines. Immaculate Conception isn't great, but I will take it. Ooh, okay, this is not what I was expecting at all. I don't know what... Okay, these are sad bombs. This is really cool. I, I mean, I'm going to get hurt a lot, but I actually really like the fact that these guys fire sad bombs. I think that's a really cool eternal version of an enemy. And then we got Reap Creep. Now, I don't know if we can quite get... Um, so, Reap Creep in a room like this is kind of interesting. Also, he does spawn Eternal versions. But Reap Creep in a room like this is kind of interesting. Because Reap Creep doesn't have that same mechanic. Um, the, the uh, I believe it's a haunt that sits at the top of the screen does. Where if you sit along the side of them, they'll rush towards you. Reap Creep doesn't normally have any rooms where you can reach him. He normally has gaps in the floor. So, sitting to the side of him is actually a very valid tactic with this dude. He is very chunky, though. I have to say, I do really like the Eternal versions and stuff. Pretty cool. But yeah, Immaculate Conception here. It ain't bad at all. Honestly, Broken Murder saving our life. 100%. But now it spawns gaps. Ooh, I did not know this was a possibility. And these guys being Eternal is pretty cool. Is there, is there being four waves here? By the way, this is treacherous as shit. Um... So for one, these fires are fucking huge and there's a lot of them, but also these dudes don't fucking die. Holy shit. They are chonky. I like it though. This is this is the sort of challenge I'm down for. This is the sort of difficulty. When I when I take an angel uh, an angel room item, I want to fight for it. I should lose some HP. I don't mean guaranteed, but there should be a good chance that I get hit. It shouldn't be a like, oh well, here's a boss that's a piece of piss. You're done. No, it should be it should be a real challenge, and it was, and I'm glad of that. So I'm, I'm glad for all this money we're getting right now because we haven't gained any actual tears up uh, items, but we are gaining tears up by having a lot of money. Counterfeit penny is potentially kind of the right choice just because getting more money means more tears. But I have to stick with M just because it could lead us to some interesting stuff. We got the D stock, which unfortunately is an eight room charge, which just means it's going to take us ages to get there. I did see a Dominic briefly there, I think, but. Maybe it's just my brain playing tricks on me. Okay. You two die via creep. It'd be nice to get the cork as well to increase our creep size. And then we got provided with something here to get a bit of extra money. There's a doubled. I love it. Ooh, Lust looks awesome on this floor. Eh, I would, I would do that if we didn't, if we had another Soul Heart, but we don't right now, so it's a little risky. <laughs> Look at him, broken murder with his mouth open. Ooh, we do have a, a tinted rock in this room as well. Spike chest here. We got a hand coming down soon. I don't know what type of hand. That's the problem. Oh God, it's an eternal version of that hand. That was not something I was expecting. So we have to play this carefully. Basically, what we have to do is we have to wait for the hand shadow to appear, which so far it isn't. It might have 
died straight away. It might be like a one and done thing, but I... Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. It might just be a one and done sort of thing. On 25 keys already. Um, saw blades are really good here, so we'll just grab those. It was the right choice anyways. It's only a low chance for the saw blades, but any, every little helps. I think I will take this. I'll also grab this as well. And... This hopefully makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's a lot of tears. Doubles all trinkets, spawns, gulps every few floors. Ooh, we could end up gulping M, but you know you know me. I want to. Oh, I mean, to be fair, we don't need pay to play at all, do we? Uh, I'll buy another battery here. I realize I could have used that for the boss, but I'm more about trying to roll to get something interesting. Ooh, I love the saw blades of the uh, the green saw blades. That's really cool. I need to remember that I don't actually have to kill those dudes. They just die once the room ends. Yeah, I still shoot at it for some reason. Okay, we do have a grimace here. Not too bad of a room. That's going to keep doing his thing. And we got our active charge for the boss. It's uh, Champion Singe. I think this is Poopy Singe, right? Farty Singe? Is this Farty Singe? Yes, it is. This is Poopy Singe. Careful for Poopy Singe. He drops some turds. Maybe he doesn't drop turds. Maybe he's just... Maybe he drop, just drops x lax and stuff. Ow. He did manage to push me into his spikes there. I'll give, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Oh, no, there you go. He did poop. He eventually pooped. It took him some time, but he got he got off the courage, and he did a shit. Right. What we got here? So we got Fool, Empress, Wheel of Fortune, Glitch. We'll just pop the Glitch. Speed down. Thank you. Uh, lovers. She's my lover. We'll pop the Wheel of Fortune there as well. Magician. I don't even want to check the Devil Deal, I'll be honest. Um... I think we're good to go here. Uh, this this will um, smell M right. I'm, I'm almost sure of it, which kind of scares me for uh, for a good bit. That kind of scares me. But yep, M is M is smelted now. So whether we want to keep an active or not, we can't. <laughs> okay, so we we actually got some intrigue here. This is this is a cool room. I did get hit, but it's a cool room. Now, can we actually force this? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Just about. Just about. Apple of Sodom here. I think I'll take Apple of Sodom. Although, hmm, I don't know. Getting, uh, smelting Apple of Sodom onto us would be a bad nose goblin. There you go. <laughs> Double trinket spawns there, helping us out. Oh, God. This is a hard room. Hey, it's a lucky penny. I got a mod that shows them off a bit. Nice. All right, let's pop this. We got bad egg. Bad egg's kind of interesting. It glitches out an item for us. Could be pretty good. Could be awful. Deep pockets is incredible for us. Also charge that up. Yeah, Deep Pockets not only is going to give us more money that could then be upgraded by um, by sleight of hand, but on top of that, it uh, has the potential to give us some very beautiful glitched items. Wait, no. What am I on about? No, sorry. Not glitched items. I'm, I, I mixed up two different topics there. It also has the chance to um, give us some really good glitched items. No, I'm still talking about Bad Egg. What am I on about? Deep Pockets. Our tears are going to get higher. That's all I'm trying to say. God damn my stupid, feeble brain. Pe do you know, I have to say, some people... I, I do have a few people um, in my in my comments that backseat a little bit. There's uh, one or two people in particular that I, I I don't really mind that much. I just kind of... Whatever with the comments. But someone was like, oh, make sure you use your active more. I, I, I try. I do try. But my brain. <laughs> my poor, poor brain. Smelt a random trinket onto us. Got to. I gotta say, it's like my poor, poor brain. Like, I can barely keep it together, understanding what the hell's going on 
in the run and keep the commentary actually flowing and entertaining. Never mind, remember to use my active item. I apologize if I've offended you by the way I play the game, but it is what it is. This room is laggy. <laughs> um, Linger Bean? I don't think so. Let's glitch it. Right. Heals um, a heart. <sighs> On hit, chance to use recoil, then convert all lit bombs in the room to golden troll bombs, then spawn explosive tier. Or do we take the random glitched item that we know nothing about? But of course we do. We got the D4. On use, use Void Egg. I don't know what Void Egg is. Um, items. Modded. Void Egg. Okay, one minute. I'm going to go and see if I can find out what Void Egg does. Let's, first of all, let's go to my files and take a little look. Finding of Isaac mods. Void Egg. Searching for Void Egg. Void Bombs. Void machine, void egg. I found it. Now, open file location. It's from something wicked. Which scares me. Because <laughs> I don't know what it does now. Okay. Um, one moment. Well, I have no idea. It's not on the page. Let's just use it and see what happens. It gave us some locusts. I don't know if it did anything else. Interesting. I guess. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. I've asked the developer what it does. We'll see if they get back to me. But we only got one use out of it anyways, so that's kind of fine by me. I like the unique looking locusts. They look cool. Oh, God. Bad hit. Bad hit. That was a full heart hit as well, I think. Empress. Kind of, yeah, I'm going to use the Empress in here. I was like, I kind of want to use the Empress in this room because this room's kind of, kind of nasty. And there's another one of these dudes somewhere about. Yeah, there is. It's okay, though, we got him. Yeah, that's cool. It's got like a unique path. Okay, let's just go for it. I kind of love that this is a unique little path. <laughs> it's not just straight up. Hey, we do start with extra speed as Kane here. So getting our uh, P shouldn't be too bad. I do wish there was a mod that that removed the uh, the key piece search only for key piece 2. Because uh, there's a few of them that remove it for key piece 1 as well. But I don't really mind the key piece 1 search. It's the, key the only reason I don't like the key piece 2 search is just because it's so laggy when you mod. Like, you guys will see if you haven't seen already in a moment. When we make this trip back, once we get to the, la the the first and second large rooms, like, the FPS dips. So we're already a little bit lower on FPS than normal. Yeah, the extra speed is so, so important here. But this room, we've dipped about 20 FPS. Yeah, we're at 30 FPS right now. I don't know what it is about the fog and the, the like, the void. That was close. But it just doesn't like it. I don't know why I threw that there, to be honest. Was that useful at all? I think this is just like a multiple a multiple choice sort of thing. We've got a few different options of which way to go. That was I think I think I actually took the cleanest path to be honest. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I think we're in the clear now. Yeah, we are. Okay, that wasn't so hard. 
That was a little bit saucy, but it wasn't so bad. I don't think we need that extra key, I'll be honest. Let's make our way out of this hellhole. We got our knife piece. We're set. We definitely, definitely, definitely need um, need more HP. I guess I could use that, but I actually want to keep my money. I forgot I hadn't fought the boss yet. Also, I, uh, this is actually a champion Great Gideon. This is a green Great Gideon. I don't know what, what the champion version does. I'm guessing it's just... Oh, uh, yeah, different different attacks. Not different enemies. So he fires little uh, Ipecac bombs. Okay. I, I, I think I need to be standing with invisible distance of this dude. I didn't expect Great Gideon to have, uh, oh god, to have any new attacks, but it's pleasant to see. They're a little tough, I'll admit. They're a little tough, but such is life, I guess. It's just not knowing when they're coming that's the problem, oh my lord. Oh, cool. I mended knife just annihilated those dudes. So he still does that. God damn, I mended knife just insta-kills those mushrooms. And then he spawns enemies that only fit in the gaps. Okay, let's not lose that angel deal here, if plausible. Baron with five here. Dude, come on. Don't be like this. Is it dead? Okay, yeah, it is. Good. Oh, God. Did not expect the angry flies coming my way. Dude, this... This dude's, like, trapped at the other side. Dude! Just, you little sauce pot. You stay in your ivory fucking tower, sitting over at the other side of the map like king of high fucking rule. Fuck you. <laughs> you think you're so special. You think you're so cool. I might have to spend some money here. My health is low. <laughs> you think you're all that, don't you? Yeah, you think you're all that. Okay, that's all I needed. I'll go for one more. There you go. Oh! Oh! It's all going so well now. Yeah. You think you're bloody king of the fucking castle with your little bridge of shit blocking me and you? Well, I see how it is. I see how it is. Left to be a lowly scrub at the other side. Left to perish. To lose my angel deal. My birthright. You little... Green Gideon. I can't believe you've done this. Genuinely appalled. Ooh, we got two, um, two worms there. Genuinely appalled at your behavior here. But yeah, we only smelt once every second floor, so we're not going to get a smelt here. Like, we didn't actually smelt Nose Goblin yet. Which is fair, because like... I, it's kind of an interesting item, the, the toy playing, because it's like, you get so much more choice for your trinkets, but you don't actually get to keep them all, and it kind of, it's kind of an interesting thing, because it, yeah, it makes it kind of difficult. Do we get a double-mended knife here? No, we get Mongo, baby. Go, my leechy buddies. Leeches are strong, man. They do a good job. Oh lord, the, the the brimstone chain started, and it was ferocious. It was truly ferocious. Does scissors give us flight? I feel like it does, right? I can never remember. Ow, that was bad hits, bad hits. It does not, it's the opposite. <laughs> Holy Crown and Angel's Crown. All new treasure rooms will have an angel item for sale. Hmm. I think I'll grab that for now. Try that out for a hot minute. Think I'd be down to buy an angel deal. I'll come back for you, Nurse Goblin. But we are getting a lot of trinket spawns right now. It's quite nice. Here's that treasure room. This brimstone ghost. We're going to get hit here. Yeah. <sighs> that was pretty much a god uh, a, a given there. Oh my god. The brimstone ghosts aren't dead yet. For some reason, I thought they were. Honestly, just get some of these rocks out of my face. They're just in the way. I'm trying to fight here. Got the music on. This floor goes off, doesn't it? 
us off. Revive or random? I'm going to go random. The random item. The random item wasn't an angel deal. I feel betrayed. I thought they'd both be angel deals. I thought, yeah, I, I was really convinced they'd both be angel deals. I think it stands to reason that that would make a lot of sense, right? We have some bombs now. Oh, I feel, I feel cheated. Restock. Let me buy that. I don't really think restock's all that good for us, I'll be honest. What I will do, however, is come this way. Ooh, he's eternal. He's eternal. I don't know what that means for us, but I'm going to guess multiple brimstones and big angry baby. Okay, no multiple brimstones. I don't think... Oh my god, I was just about to say I don't think this guy's any different. No, no, no. He shoots shots. He shoots the shit. Right. I'm going to quickly go back over this way. I realize I'm spending a lot of money right now that I probably shouldn't be spending. But I'm going to go and buy restock and void it just to get some stats. We got speed and range, which weren't great. Although our range was very low, so it's not a terrible loss. And then here we get to re-roll our health, which I'm not ex especially psyched about, I'll be honest. I love Nurse Goblin with Mysterious Liquid. It just looks so good. I love this boss. This is one of my favorite bosses in the game. I'm glad that it's got a bit of boss armor with this mod I'm using. Just, just so you can fight this guy a bit longer. It's fighting, it's fun. Creatine powder's pretty good. We finally got an angel deal. And it's Jar of Wisps, an item that is actually useless for us. Sadly. Right. Down we go. This has been a rather successful episode thus far. Rather successful indeed. Ooh, I wasn't expecting a, a room of these sorts. That scared me. I'm hoping Deep Pockets really pulls its finger out and gives us a lot of money. I mean, it's been giving us some here and there, but it hasn't given us all that much, I'll be honest. That was just stupid of me. I committed to the kill when I very clearly couldn't get the kill. Okay, so this is kind of good. We'll pop this. We got Tammy's head. Pop this. We get Lemonade. And we pop this. We get Data Miner. I think we take Tammy's head here. But now we, if we get a one use uh, active item, we've got some extras to work with here. I wonder why, I was just going to say I wonder why they glitch out like that, but I think it's, da I think it's, um, Broken Murdom that's glitching out the fires like that, actually. Oh, that is a big boy. That is a big boy saw blade. This dude is chonky, holy hell. We got a handicap sign. I don't, what does the handicap sign do again? Place cards, place on the ground every time an enemy is inside the place cards area effect, it's weakened. Okay, sounds simple enough. I'm sure there's some other caveats to it down there, but that's the base effects, which for us right now isn't particularly useful. I mean, it is good for the boss, but like, eh, we're not going to go all the way to the boss with it, I don't think. I'm probably going to cycle it a bit earlier. By the way, did we get Bookworm? I don't think we did, did we? I don't think we did. Okay, Mysterious Liquid's really good on these guys because they're very weak. They have very few HPs. So, any enemy within this, it's actually pretty useful. I kind of like that.
Good, good. And we come, we come straight back to Monster Manuel. How very nice. Don't know why I thought this room was empty then. That's not what this floor does. Libra. No, thank you. The poop. <gasps> Another four trinkets. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> oh, one of them's golden. Right, let's just check what we got. We got brown cap, which is destroying poops causes an explosion. Um, we got left hand, um, the twins, which is pretty good. And this, which is all future falls will be XL when possible. Kind of interesting. I can't believe we got the toy box back again. So many smelted trinkets. Like, this is like the, the most smelteriest run that I've ever had without physically having the smelter. All we need now is a gulp pill to, to really tip the scales. Still need a little more HP. I've been getting hit a decent amount. I feel like we've, we've definitely struck a good balance with difficulty. Game feels hard without feeling impossible. Feels like we're doing well without feeling like we're just winning all the time sort of thing. Oh shit. Uh, okay, this is an interesting room, but I'm not going to adhere to the rules of this room. I'm just uh, I'm just skipping, skipping the foreplay and getting straight to it. Ow, you pulled a rock straight into the back of my head. Evil. Oh god. Don't respawn things, you bastard. Oh, two black hearts, hell yeah. And a soul heart. Oh, ho, ho, baby. The eraser. I don't. Is the eraser useful for us? Probably not. I will take members' card. I realize we only have this one shot, but it could be incredible. And we do have Steam Sale. It's really not incredible. I had to try. I had to try. One second. Okay, let's keep her going. Oh, this is an interesting room. It definitely seems like a difficult one. Thank you for the secret room. I'll, I'll hold off on using Shoop the Whoop for the boss here, I think. Secret room gave us some bombs. Kind of useful. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got, um, there you go. Alrighty then. Oh god, oh god, it's the three foots. The three foot combo. I think the saw blades are really good in this fight because they're always going to just bounce around and hit all the segments. Because she appears in so many spots, that was dumb. It's okay, we got a lot of health here and um, we did just get a, a Guppy's paw play. Oh, okay, you're dead. Didn't realize you were so close to death. Uh, we'll take damage, of course. We'll check out our angel deal here. Uh, I don't really think so, game. I don't know. No. It's like... We're fighting Mother. I feel like Mother is the one boss you don't want to use Spirit Sword against. That and Delirium. So I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna say no. I, I apologize to those of you that like Spirit Sword. I do hope Spirit Sword gets a slew of synergies soon. It was supposed to get them... A while back and never did, so I'm hoping that that comes eventually. I always forget how this version of the heart differs. Well, to be fair, it's it's dying very, very quickly with the setup that we've got going on. Ow. I don't know where I'm meant to be standing here. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm getting hit a lot. It's okay. Again, the boss armor, I feel like it's just right. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've hit a really good mark with the tweaks that I've made to the mod. It's like just enough, just enough for it to be noticeable, but not so much that it feels like it overpowers a good run. Like this run isn't very overpowered. This run's solid, but it's not overpowered. Um, And I feel like, I feel like, we, we killed it in about the right amount of time there. So we've got Black Tooth. We've also got Thimble. Oh, we've broken um, EID again. One second. I, I'm not sure what item we have that's breaking it, but we have something that's breaking it. Um, 
3% chance for poison tears or um, refund familiar upgrades when using sewing machine. Okay, I'll just take the, the poison tears. Not that we need it, but I'll take it. Right, I'm just hoping we can get some good active action here and get something really useful for the boss. And I'm hoping we can get a lot more coins. That's a good amount of coins right there. Damn it, I didn't realize you were going to pop up right there because I'd only just shot at you. Moving box now as well. Honestly, just give me another toy box. See if I care. I will most certainly use it in a heartbeat. Can you not? Stupid. We've got some twitchies. This floor is pretty good for us, actually, because we will gain a good amount of leeches. Sibling rivalry there, doing some good stuff for us. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that one was a spiked rock. That was really dumb of me. It was obvious that I'd be a spiked rock, but I just... I, di I didn't really take it into account. So hopefully we get some other HP here. Oh my lord. Your boy has gone insane. I'm making some mistakes that are unprecedented. And losing some health that is... Just stupid to lose. It's okay. We make mistakes. We make mistakes. It's fine. I am confident enough in my skills against Mother that we should be okay. Although, Mother does get an increase in boss armor too. Although, hers is a, uh, isn't very significant, to be honest. Uh, hers isn't crazy. Just because she already has a good amount. So, I think it increases it by like 20 or 30. But, it's, it's pretty hard to notice, to be honest. Because she already had a hefty amount. Come on, dude. Stop being an ass. Dude! Stop. He keeps hitting the leeches and not popping up to shoot. It's very annoying. We got double Wormwood in here. Oh god, he's a red Wormwood too. This is an interesting room. I mean, the wait, is it a segmented Wormwood? What the hell? Oh, this is cool. This is a cool champion version. It's a segmented Wormwood. Didn't know such a thing existed. Quickly check this out. Unfortunately, nothing's really there for us. I should maybe bomb the machines, but at this point, I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling like a river. Ignore that little goober for now. There you go. There's some more leeches for us. Considering how strong the leeches are, I'm kind of like glad to let them spawn. You're a champion. See what I mean? The leech jumped straight into my leeches and just died. We do have, unfortunately, one of these things. This is a hard room. Yeah. Yeah. Hanged man. Kind of whatever. Okay, these guys do shoot out leeches as well. Again, it's kind of good for us. Gets our army somewhat growing. Oh, I was like, what the hell's left in this room? It's just, it's these little things that grow up over time. I'm kind of okay to let them burst a little bit and get some more leeches. Some more pennies there. Ooh, we got blood rights this time, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, you know what? Good room to use it in. This time we get clear rune. What type of heart? That's a red heart. I don't really want to go for that. More little leeches. I am a little scared, I've got to admit. My health is not good, and it's it's been getting worse and worse. We've still got a boss and a whole floor to go. I'm not super confident, I'll be honest. By the sounds of it, a lot of money spawned in this room. Yeah, dime spawned there. We do have a hangman, actually. Perfect. Good amount of fire rate. Still annoying that we've not had a single actual fire rate upgrade. Also, Immaculate Conception hasn't proc'd yet. Ooh. These are the rooms we want to see. These rooms are literally like a free army. Absolutely free army. That is tempting. 
But I think the, the negatives outweigh the positives in that situation. Oh, dude, another one of these. Oh, you telefragging little fuckers. God damn it. I've never had one of these guys actually hit me, you know. Like, I've had them grab me plenty of times, but I don't know if they deal damage on their own or not. Okay, this could be good. Yes! Yes! I don't know where the other soul heart came from, but I think finally, finally, we got Immaculate Conception to proc, which now means that our Twins Trinket can double our um, our dude, which is pretty good, because this guy's a good, a good familiar. He's a good one to have. I think we, I think we got lucky there. That went really well for us for a second. Get over here, you! Don't think you can run away from me. Dude, come on. Teleport, you little bastard. No, thank you. Okay, good. Oh, this is an Excel flaw. I, I forgot about that. I was wondering why we had so much going on, but that makes a lot more sense now. Oh, God. Yeah, that was a guaranteed hit there. Can we even re-roll this active? I don't know if we can. Because No, we can't, because we can't charge it. We have no way of charging this active. Oh, God. That's not good. Hey, a real tears up. But yeah, I think I think we actually got kind of screwed here, because now we have absolutely no way of, um, of proccing this active. So... I'm at... Oh, I was hoping that I'd maybe charge it. I'm at an odds as to how to, uh, how to move on from here. We've kind of soft-locked our active. Um, hmm. Right, let's try and take advantage of everything we can on this floor. We, we have... We have a reasonable, reasonable chance of maybe being able to get, um... Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We have, we have a good amount of red hearts about. We got a chance of getting IV bag or blood bag, which both of them would be very helpful. And also we produce leeches too, which is pretty nice. Okay, not really what we're looking for there. Okay. I think we're a little bit shagged. It's annoying to get our active soft lock. Dude! Leeches, don't just run straight into the spikes. Bad idea. Bad idea. I guess we just complete some of the rooms we haven't already and hope for some advantage. Like bringing in a card or something. A strength card would be helpful. Huge growth would be even better, but... We got ourselves. That's pretty good, actually. We'll take that. What even hit me, then? Charity. Unchamps the donation machine. Every floor using the donation machine will increase the chance. That'd be good if it wasn't terrible. What on earth? That's kind of good. Eternal heart. Useful. The moon could be useful too. The dynamic. This could be good. Oh. oh, it doesn't spawn a, it doesn't spawn a rune on use. Why, <laughs> why doesn't it spawn a rune on pickup? That's just silly. I've got to drop this soul of the loss because I'm going to end up killing myself with it, aren't I? I'm going to end up popping it by accident and dying. Okay, so we kind of got there. <laughs> I think we should probably play this now. Okay.
Holy shit, what's going on? Right, so A was. Um, spawns a crawl space if used on a decorative floor, start floor tile, so that could be a, a, a thingy. Also, removes... Um, oh, we'd, it'd remove our tears up, though. It'd remove a lot of our tears up. It could be good, though. Right, let's... Uh, Let's do it on a decal here. See what we get. We got the shovel. I don't really like this. Okay, let's let's um let's go like this. Let's let's try and speed run this without getting hit. Okay, there you go. And then we go up through here. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping it would give us a better active. This is like a hail. Mary play. This is probably going to be a bad idea. We lost a lot of tears. And yeah, we got very little for it. Kills any and... Uh, kills all enemies and non-final bosses in the room. Killing bosses... Um, times two. Using after the depths. Using on a final boss gives you six broken hearts and halves their HP. Okay. Now... This is good, but the question here that I have is, is it real Broken Hearts where it'll, it'll reduce our HP, or is it just adding to the total? Because this is actually fantastic if it's just adding to the total. I think we've managed to look our way into a decent situation here. And what we really hope for is that this then re-rolls into a useful active. So I think we use that. That did not half their HP at all, you lying bastard. I don't know what you think half of their HP is, but that was like one-tenth of their HP. Where did you get half from, game? Do you know what half is? Maybe it's because I, I used it a bit early, but... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. I see what's happening now. It didn't half their HP bar. It literally halved their HP. That's why we're killing it so quick. Okay, this is actually good. I wonder if it'll half the HP of the second phase too. I'm I'm curious. Um, I don't I don't think it did. I maybe should have waited for the second phase. It doesn't seem to have halved the second phase HP at all. Yeah, the second phase HP is still really high. Ooh, this attack's still a bit laggy. Broken Murdom also makes this attack kind of hellish. It's a little easier to dodge in some regards and a lot harder in others. Okay. You're going this way first. Oh, unfortunately we've got sticky bombs so we can't slow her down. That's a little annoying. Normally you can slow her down by placing bombs like I just did there, but it doesn't work when you've got sticky bombs. Oh, what the hell? Broken Murdom glitches her out like that? I did not know that. Ow. Okay, can I stop getting hit? Why am I getting money for getting hit here? Dude, slow down. It's it's not possible when you don't slow down. All of the bomb damage here is tickety-boo. What is going on with all of this? I'm confused. Okay, we somehow did it. Yeah, that was that was kind of a clutch. That was kind of a clutch. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was uh, uh, pretty fun. And yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one.